Smilodon. Probably one of the cutest names for a voracious predator, this prehistoric animal is notorious for having quite a unique dental situation. On top of their razor-sharp teeth for shearing flesh, they also have two conspicuous canine teeth so long that they protruded out of their mouth. And we should be glad these predators are no longer roaming the earth as they were deadly. Woo! Today, we'll take a front seat ride into what your life as a saber-toothed tiger would have been like. Saber-toothed cats, such as yourself, are thought to follow similar life stages to our modern-day lions and cats. Mind you, you were about oh, 300 pounds or so larger than our house cats, but the pattern still follows. Like many other big cats of the modern world, male Smilodons were like the frat bros of the jungle. They would spend their time looking for women and fighting with other male Smilodons. Now, it's also thought that female Smilodons were polyesterous, meaning they were able to mate multiple times within a singular breeding season. Regardless of how it occurred, I'm sure we are all well aware, your mother would have given birth to a litter of cubs, including you. In this litter, it would have been common for you to be born with one or two other siblings. When you were born, your eyes would have been shut and blind, much like how modern-day cats are born, and during this time, your mother would have likely spent the majority of her days caring for you by protecting you, finding you food, teaching you to hunt, and more. Talk about some love and care. I mean, just look at you. You would have been adorable as a cub, kind of cute even, not so scary after all. Oh wait, never mind, I take that all back. As you can see, after the period of your life in which you're dependent on your mother, you develop into quite the young killing machine. As you age, your coat develops, your eyesight becomes honed, and of course, your gorgeous pearly whites begin to grow out of your mouth. No braces needed. It would take roughly three years for your adult teeth to fully develop. This likely marked the time in your life when you would begin to hunt on your own and depend less on your mother. You and your peers lived during the Pleistocene Epoch. This time period ranged from around 2.5 million years ago to 10,000 years ago. So in other words, your species is old. But don't worry, I'm sure you'll come back as a trend soon enough. Fossils of your species can be found all throughout the Americas. The modern-day equivalent range would be as high as Canada, all the way down to parts of Central and South America. One prolific spot where your fossils were found is the La Brea Tar Pits in California. During the time, those areas are supported by patchy habitats of forest, grasslands, and even treeless mammoth steppes that were home to face-eating zombies. Oh, <laughs> I'm just kidding. They were home to mammoths. I just wanted to keep you on your toes. These habitats were perfect for supporting megafauna, such as mammoths, camels, antelope, and deer, which were some of your favorite snacks. Dabbled throughout these various habitats, there were slightly different species of saber-toothed tigers. These tigers were more adapted to certain habitats, with some preferring the forested areas and others preferring the more open areas. Another interesting thing about you is that you were a social butterfly, a party animal, if you will. It's generally thought that you and your relatives would have had a social life similar to that of a modern-day big cat. In other words, you would have formed social groups like a lion pride. Sources differ about the specifics of social life, with some claiming that adult males and females would form monogamous pairs, and others claiming that there would be more of a harem setup. Regardless of the details, the presence of social fossil clusters indicates that you and your group would have had extremely close bonds, formed to increase the success of your hunting and survival. Even though you would have been the hotshot predator of the ancient world, you still would have had to deal with the problems of finding food, shelter, and protecting yourself from other animals. Think of it like the ultimate game of life, but instead of playing for victory, you're playing not to die. In order to deal with these problems, you had a lot of unique traits that allowed you to hunt, defend yourself, and even work in a social group to survive. Firstly, your teeth were a huge tool that you would have used for hunting prey. Originally, scientists thought that you would have used them to pierce and maul your prey. Although this was a fairly tempting hypothesis, it was later understood that it was likely incorrect due to the probability of your teeth snapping off while hunting in this way. You would have had to deal with some pretty big dentist bills if that were the case. It's now thought that your teeth were used as if they were chopsticks in the hands of someone who completely doesn't understand how to use chopsticks. You would have likely punctured your food and just waited for it to die from a massive amount of blood loss. In tandem with your massive chompers, you also had a jaw that was akin to that of an anaconda. Studies suggest that you would have been able to open your jaw to an angle of about 90 degrees, and this would have allowed you to make big slices at your prey and to take down extremely large animals. Your neck muscles were also extremely developed, which would allow you to bring down your head with a lot of force. 
With relation to your teeth, this created a killer combo suited for making Mastodon kebabs. Other important adaptations you possessed were in your arms and legs, which were extremely muscular and short. Additionally, certain bones, such as your heel bone, were elongated as compared to other predators. Together, these adaptations allowed you to be very fast and powerful predators. Additionally, your specialized leg muscles and heel bones allowed you to excel at climbing, which made hunting down prey a breeze. Lastly, it's been found that you would have had vocal cords that were developed for some form of vocalizations. Although you were likely no opera singer, you probably could have produced a substantially terrifying roar. Aside from your physical adaptations, you also had a few behaviors that would have aided you in surviving and hunting large prey, such as mastodons. I mean, it's not an easy feat to take down a mastodon. That would be like a ballerina trying to tackle a linebacker. Your social nature would have also aided you in the hunting effort. Just like modern-day lions, you would have had power in numbers, meaning that the rule of picking on someone your own size did not apply to you. And so, saber-toothed tigers, such as yourself, would have worked in groups to tire out prey until one member of the pack was able to get a good slice in. Also, having a large group would have made managing a huge prey animal fighting back a lot easier. Lastly, the presence of fossils near sites like the La Brea Tar Pits indicates that you and your friends may have targeted animals who were injured or stuck. It's thought that animals stuck and dying in the tar pit would have attracted you. In thinking you could have gotten a quick bite, you would have leaned in for a nibble. And depending on your luck, you too could have fallen in, which is why we found so many fossils of saber-toothed tigers in the tar. At the end of the day, you and your friends would have likely been able to take down huge animals like camels and mastodons, all with the help of your sharp teeth, powerful leg muscles, and most importantly, teamwork. Now let's have a look at your natural lifespan. You would have boasted a really long lifespan for a big cat, ranging into around 20 to 40 years on average. Compared to the average lion, which only lives around 18 to 16 years depending on sex, this makes you look like an old geezer. Like many wild animals, you may have died at an early age or an old age. This determination was usually random depending on factors such as if the weather was good or you were able to get a good meal, or even if you were able to make a good group of friends. For the lucky few who did live the good life, they would have been able to live to their ripe old age of 20 to 40 years old, succumbing to death by old age. Now on to the end of your story. We'll discuss when your species went extinct and some of the possible factors that led to your extinction. Your species likely went extinct roughly 8,000 to 10,000 years ago, directly during the Big Quaternary Extinction. There are many proposed explanations as to why your species went extinct. As with most issues, it's kind of messy. Like, really messy. No single explanation is likely correct on its own, and it's probable that they all just culminated into one big bowl of extinction soup. One of the main explanations was that humans overhunted and outcompeted your species. There's some direct evidence of humans hunting saber-toothed tigers, which lends some validity to this claim. In addition to this, the introduction of humans also led to the hunting of megafauna such as mammoths. This suppression of prey species is thought to have slowly starved out all of your species. It was kind of like the school bully was trying to take your lunch and your lunch money, but every single day. In culmination, these two big changes were very impactful in the eventual extinction of your species. And on top of this, the period was also known for rapid changes in climate and landscape, which led to the eventual downfall of certain species. The extinction essentially gave Earth a big makeover, but instead of using makeup and new clothes, it used the deaths of countless animals and the alteration of old age landscapes. At the end of the day, these big changes, which destabilized ecosystems of the time, in addition to early human activity, were thought to be the main reasons why your species is unfortunately gone today. Shifting back to the modern day, it's clear that saber-toothed tigers were truly the rock star predators of their day and age. They were able to work together in highly social groups to take down prey that was way bigger than any of them alone. Their unique traits, determination, and teamwork were all integral in making them so successful that they lasted for millions of years. Unfortunately, as is the story with many animals, these creatures went extinct. Although there are a few reasons proposed, I'm sure that we can all agree that one is the most important. <coughs> yep, looking at you, humans. Now sadly, we can't use modern day science to bring you back, or at least we can't yet. And so, with all of that, we should simply take some time out of our day and admire just how cool that you really were. <laughs>